not believe this. My water broke. Hey, Flynn. Guess what? My water just broke. Where? All over the bed. You want to see? Did you see the wet spot on the bed? Yeah. That was from inside my tummy. The babies made it come out of me. Isn't that kind of silly? Uh -huh. I cannot believe this. I don't. I can feel him moving. He's like, get me out of here. I was laying in bed and I just like opened my eyes and I felt a little bit of something come out and I was like that feels like when my water broke with Flint and then I sat up and I felt him go kick and then it just was and then I went to the bathroom and like sat down on the toilet and my sh my pajama shorts it looks like I dunked them in the pool so I guess I'm having babies right now not due till December 27th I'm, like shaking I'm freaking out I need to pack <laughs> I'm in bags. We have to pick names. It's the same situation as Flynn. We don't have... <laughs> With Flynn, I didn't... <laughs> Oh, you think I would have learned my lesson. With Flynn, we had nothing ready. And again, I'm only 32 and a half weeks pregnant. Oh my God. These little babies are gonna be in the NICU. I'm like so freaked out by it. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. I mean, I'm gonna cry, but I'm gonna try to stay calm. Oh, I felt painful contractions all night, mom. And I just thought they were Braxton Hicks. My cholestasis has been really bad. I have so much to tell you guys. I'm gonna be in the hospital for probably a long time, so we'll be chatting. I have to call Corey. <gasps> Hello? Tell Coco mama's water just broke. Mama's water just broke. <laughs> oh my god. See, uh, see, my brother and sister are coming. My brother and sister are coming. I love you. I'll call you in the video. <laughs> I told Eric that my water broke. And he's like, what do I do? What do I do? And I was like, I need to eat food. Make me eggs. He's like, right now? I need some eggs. We're going to the hospital. Oh, I can't believe yeah. this is happening. I have a lot to do. <laughs> this is a lot different when you have a two year old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing pants. Oh, yeah, they're already hurting. Okay, we gotta go. I'm not showing up hungry in the hospital. I need to put on some pants. I'm wearing a diaper. <laughs> Say goodbye to this tummy. It's the last time you guys are gonna see it. Look at how big she is. It already, I feel like it already looks smaller because my water broke and so much liquid has come out. I'm doing this. I'm straightening my freaky hair. I'm sorry, but it hurts when it's up in a tight bun like this. I just gotta keep the tradition alive. This is crazy. This is way earlier than I thought. I can't believe this is happening right now. I was not expecting it to be this early. Yeah, last night I kept waking up to like painful Braxton Hicks, which I guess were contractions. I'm in a diaper straightening my hair. I cannot believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. Your hair? Yeah. <laughs> I am. Okay. I can't. Yes, I'm serious. A diaper straightening your hair. I'm wearing a diaper straightening my hair. And if you don't take a picture of me right now, we're getting a divorce. This is uh -huh. insane. <laughs> gonna throw up. Our doctor just called and was like, Are you guys here? And Eric was like, No, she's straightening her hair. <laughs> My doctor was like, Fist. get to the hospital now. What are you talking about? Your babies are breached. A foot's gonna pop out of vagina. So we're rushing to the hospital and I'm starting to feel some, some contraction-y pain moments down there. So I'm hoping it's not his foot popping through. Are you ready to be vlogisha this weekend? You're gonna vlog since I'm gonna be in labor. Are you to the hospital See if so we can have children? <laughs> Okay, we're going to the hospital. Oh, I'm starting to feel like a real yucky. I don't know what this video is gonna be. Rachel was at my birth for Flynn. She filmed everything. Eric is gonna be with me making sure I'm okay. So you guys might not get anything filmed. This video might end here on our drive to the hospital, but I gotta go because I did not feel good. Whew, see you guys in a little bit. Probably not. Maybe I'll see you when I have babies. So I guess I had babies today. 
That was crazy. There's so much to fill you guys in on. Um, obviously, we did not film the birth. It was too hectic. It was an emergency C-section. So I'll fill you guys in on everything just a little bit. But right now, I'm just recovering. I have not seen the babies yet. I think I'm about to go meet the babies for the first time. Eric got to meet them. I did not. It was a little traumatizing. I haven't got to hold them yet. I don't think we're gonna hold them today. Doesn't seem like it, they're too little. This has been the craziest day. I just can't believe this is real. We could not film it. It was too hectic, too fast, too scary. It was really insane. I'm okay. The babies are both okay. They're very little and they're gonna be living at the NICU for a while probably. But first I wanna go meet them. Let's meet my babies. Oh my God. <laughs> You. I wish I could hold them. It's so hard. He's so tiny. Hi, baby. It's mama. You're so cute. My sweet little guy. It's mama. What were you doing? Why did you break your water, silly guy? Why did you kick your water open? You're so tiny. I love you. It's your tiny little diaper. So cute, he's so tiny. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna attempt to push me over to the little girl. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's good. Am I allowed to touch her? Yeah, definitely. Baby's mama. Baby's mama. Baby's mama. Baby's living in my tummy, you remember? I'll hold you soon, I promise. As soon as they let me, I'll give you cuddles. You just gotta breathe by yourself first, okay? So keep practicing your breathing. You're doing so good, you're so strong. You're already going pee pee. You pee pee a lot, just like mommy. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull this up so we can talk. Miss Mama. You have a big day, huh? You have a crazy Crazy day. Are you talking? Oh, you got cut out of my tummy. That's a crazy day, little guy. You're a crazy day, little guy. I love you. No, I mean, I can barely feel you. You're so tiny. Look at this tiny little guy. He's so cute. I miss him. You're so little. Hold the little girl, the little daughter. So I'm very excited about that because I haven't got to hold her yet. everyone so I just wanted to update you because I know this video is chaos and that's because this day was complete chaos for us and so I just want to let you know that we are fine the babies are fine I know it's a little scary to see them in the NICU and that's because it's scary to have babies in the NICU, but they are doing so great. They're so strong. They're both breathing on their own. They're doing really, really great. So it's kind of scary and hard for us to see the footage, to see them there, to share this with the world, but it is real and it's part of their story and our story, but they are doing really great and we're really proud of them. And we're so freaking grateful for everyone who works at the NICU and at the hospital who has kept them safe. The reason they are here is because of all the incredible workers at the hospital and at the NICU and there are not enough words to express how grateful we are for them and all that they do. I'll do another video another time kind of giving you the full story of everything and explaining everything that happened so you guys can look forward to that but this video I just wanted to let you know that they're here and we're all okay. I also will still be posting eventually on my vlog channel 
way more nitty gritty details at some point, I'm sure. So um, if you guys want updates, you can find them there or here later. I don't know. Maybe I'll never post again. We're a little busy. So <laughs> you might never, this might be my last video on the internet. I don't know. It's very overwhelming. Our next order of business is coming up with names for these little cuties and uh, surviving. It's not even like take it one day at a time. It's like take it five minutes at a time right now. <laughs> we love you guys and thanks for watching and uh, we're just so happy the babies are okay and they're here and I'm not pregnant anymore. You know what's crazy though? It's the first time in my life I kind of wish I still was pregnant because I just feel like it's crazy that my tiny little tummy was doing the same work as all those machines in that room. That's a crazy way to think about it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. My body's pretty amazing. I'm not trying to brag but like we're gonna go. We love you guys. Goodbye. What are you doing? Trying to make it go down. You're trying to be smooth. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to be smooth. I now. was. It's <laughs> just breaking the path. There oh. we go. Bye. Bye. Romance. <laughs>